Hi there folks, in this video we will be talking about list comprehension in Python. If you read enough Python code, you will eventually come across a terse and efficient construction known as list comprehension. This is one of the features um, of Python I expect you, you will fall in love with. If you have not used it before, it looks something like this. So it starts with squared brackets, we are printing here the output that we want to print and then we are using a for loop uh, uh, for this example we are using for each number in range uh, from 0 to 20 if uh, the number is dividable by 3 uh, it um, is more than 0 we are printing the output so let's run this cell great so here we have our printing uh, we are printing the numbers that are not dividable by 3. Right, so um, the example of above, we can actually write it using normal for loop. So let's say for number, for number in list, list range 20, if number modulus 3 is bigger than 0 then print the number right and space right so we have here the same construction however you have to notice that here we have an output as a list which is mutable and audible here we have just an output right so to turn this output into a list we can create list numbers it's equal then list right and here we can use number append list no we list list number append number so let's print here our list number we should have the same output right from the list comprehension so basically why we use list comprehension is to uh, optimize the code and uh, make it more efficient so the basic list comprehensions List comprehensions are simply a way uh, to compress a list building for for loops into a, a single short readable line of code. For example, here it is a loop that constructs a list of the first 12 square integers. Right, you can have here, so uh, the output which is a list, so we have for loops taking a number in range from 0 to 12, for 11 actually so the output we are appending um, the number uh, square into this output so we have this here so let's do we can actually have the same output using a more easy python code using a list comprehension we can use output 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 it's equal to a list let's start a list comprehension we have here number right so for let we have here actually number squared right for for number in 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 range 12 then we're supposed to have this print the output right so we have here the same uh, output using a very efficient uh, code and optimized one so what basically so basically the syntax of this comprehension is starting by a squared bracket and then we have the expression in which we are uh, um, printing as an output then we are starting a for loop we, we are using a variable here we can use any variable we want the name of the variable let's say here i want to use i for instance which gives the same output right here and then we give an n in an iterable uh, element 
in Python, where express is a valid expression var, var is a variable name, and iterable is an iterable Python object. Right. So can we have, let's just delete this, and let's, let's create, create um, a set comprehension. Right, so set comprehension, the set is uh, defined it by, uh, uh, by parentheses, so let's create the same output, we call it out, right, and then we are creating set, which is i multiply for, for i in range 12, let's print out. Oh, so basically here, actually, we are creating a generator, a generator comprehension, right? So the value, the values are uh, actually stored, are not stored in the, in the, in the memory. So if we want to print them, we create list out, and then here we have the same values as a list, right? But as simply as this one, they are considered to be a generator expression. Right, so now let's create create dic dictionary comprehension comprehension. So to do so we uh, start out it equal uh, curly braces i i multiplied by two for e for e in range. 12. So basically what we are doing here is that we are taking the i from range from 0 to 12, which will be giving us a range from 0 to 11. Right. Great. And each time for 0, it will be taking 0 um, and then multiply this 0 twice by, by itself. Right, then one it gets multiplied by itself, and two gets it multiplied by itself, and finally we will have in uh, a dictionary, a dictionary, com dic, dic comprehension, a dictionary comprehension. Right. So if we want to access the values, so let's say uh, out. Then we select two. We will be having four. Right. So we can, uh, this is the key, right? This is the key, a key because dictionaries are created using uh, a key uh, value, value pairs, right? So this is the key and this is the value, right? 